for attorney Blade Grove about what DA Womble had to say after the break. In the Army National Guard, family means everything. They really appreciate what she's done as a sister as well as a soldier and, you know, supporting the country. Our parents, they're really supportive that all five of us were joined. Family members that are soldiers in the Army National Guard inspire and influence, setting a path for others. It's validating knowing that, you know, I kind of did my part to make sure this is what they actually wanted and that they feel the same way I do. I'm really proud that we get to help shape the future, and I know that my sisters are going to be amazing soldiers. Serving part-time in the Army National Guard instills pride that you and your family will have a lot of pride. And they're just out there doing something every day to serve the country as well. I got my education because of the Guard. I got to travel a little bit and experience a whole different culture. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. Sponsored by the North Carolina Army National Guard. North Carolina, Association of Broadcasters, and this... Have you ever experienced a wish come true? For a child battling a critical illness, a wish come true can be a turning point. One song, one dance, one game, one adventure, one moment changes everything. Make-A-Wish needs your support to grant the wish of every eligible child. Visit wish.org now to help grant more life-changing wishes. Together, we can transform lives one wish at a time. Welcome back. Attorney Blake Grove, I'd like to begin with you. When D.A. Womble was asked what people should do if they're upset with his decision, he simply said, respond at the ballot box, uh, essentially saying that's the only recourse at this point. Is that how you see it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, responding at the ballot box is an important way for us to right this system. It is not the only way for us to fix it. What we need is honesty. We need honesty from all of our elected officials, not just um, not just carefully uh, crafted responses that say nothing, but honest, but honest responses that are based in integrity and in the truth. Trust comes from honesty and truth. We have all heard here today that the law is flat out against and in opposite of what I am doing to justify this shooting. We need our elected officials, that includes district attorneys from all over the state, as well as our attorney general, to say that out loud and unapologetically. We need to hold folks within the system who use their power in a way that is racist and that perpetuates the racist systems that are designed and, and upheld in America, we need our elected officials to stand up and call out wrong actors when they see them. We all can agree that the law that Womble articulated is flat out wrong. How is yet I have trust? yet to hear any elected official say that. How, that is what we need. Uh, and when we hear that, we'll change the system. I hear you, and, and I wonder, from your perspective, how is trust repaired at this point? Trust is repaired with honesty, with truth, with transparency. We need those people who are elected officials in our state to tell the truth. This is a miscarriage of justice. And you cannot do anything to correct this miscarriage of justice because of the egregious and the racist laws of North Carolina. And then use your power and your influence to change those laws to create a system that is more fair and more just. It is not, it is unacceptable for the conference of district attorneys to be silent when one of their members so grossly misstates the law. Mm. He is representative of them, yet we have heard nothing. Professor Sears says the officers are going to be disciplined. They will be retrained. Do you think that opens them up to civil liability at this point if the DA already said they didn't do anything wrong? It's certainly going to be a relevant consideration uh, as the Federal Department of Justice continues the civil rights investigation. So while many of us looking at this case are asking is, if they're going to be internally disciplined, and how does that square with DA Wombles' 
conclusion that the actions of the officers was justified. DA Bumble did not say, it is inconclusive, I cannot find evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to charge them of a homicide crime. He found they were affirmatively justified in their actions. If that's the case, why are they now being internally disciplined by the sheriff? And the district attorney, Freeman, was exactly right when she said that DAs have close working relationships with police officers, and that's natural, and that's true across the country. And that does not inherently mean there's a conflict of interest, but that's precisely why criminal justice reform advocates around the country want the appointment of independent special prosecutors for every officer involved shooting to see if there's potential criminal police misconduct. And the press conference that we saw on Tuesday, that was defiant, defensive, confrontational, and legally inaccurate, is only going to put people on the fire for that type of reform. You know, Attorney Freeman, I do wonder how Womble's decision might have been received from the public if the process were just different, if those videos were out, if there was transparency in the way that the public was asking for day after day. Maybe they would have received his conclusion differently. I mean, how do you feel like trust is repaired? How difficult is it to do your job if there's no confidence? It's very difficult, and I mean, I think that there are lots of ways. One, I do think that transparency is important. I think that, you know, building those relationships, you can't wait until you have one of these incidents to be building those relationships and building that trust with your community, and you have to be doing that throughout. I think in response to some of what Professor Fields and Attorney Blaybrook have said, I mean, the answer to the question about, you know, the vehicle being moving, that was during a question and answer part of Mr. Womble's press conference. That is not the situation we have in this case. And again, you know, while I'm not passing judgment or saying as to what my particular opinion about that decision is, you know, what I would say is that that select answer does not mean that that is the standard that he applied in evaluating this case. You know, again, I think we have to have all of the information in this case. I think that comes out over time. Hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later. But as Professor Fields has said and others, I mean, there are various components, and any time we have one of these use of force cases, you know, there is a